In every pair of Tacova's boots, you can expect handmade quality, first wear comfort, and timeless Western style. Tacova's boots are always made from premium bovine and exotic leathers, and with occasional resoling, they're going to last a lifetime. The best way to shop for boots is at your local Tacova store, where you're going to be greeted by the smell of fresh leather and a friendly smile. So come on in, grab a cold one, get fitted by a pro, and shop the latest styles. Visit tacovas.com. That's T E C O V A S.com. And don't go gently, y'all. Host Nora McInerney is back for season two of The Head Start Embracing the Journey, a podcast from Ruby Studio and Abvi. In each episode, Nora has real conversations with real people living with chronic migraine to see how they took action to understand this disease. So jump into the conversation for season two, a show that creates a little more space for empathy and understanding in such a complicated world. There shouldn't be so much hesitation around asking questions and asking for help. So don't wait. Join the Head Start Embracing the Journey and learn a little more about life with chronic migraine. Get ready to simplify your life with AT&T in-car Wi-Fi. Stay connected wherever you go and transform your vehicle into a dependable Wi-Fi hotspot. Powering applications like real-time GPS and voice assistant, navigation becomes a breeze. Plus, with Wi-Fi for up to 10 devices, you can keep everyone entertained while on the road. Work, stream shows, or finish homework without missing a beat. Discover the convenience for yourself and see if you're eligible for a free trial at att.com slash in-car Wi-Fi. Always pay careful attention to the road and don't drive distracted. Wi-Fi hotspot intended for passenger use only when the vehicle is in operation. Compatible device and vehicle required. One in three women and one in four men experience domestic abuse in their lifetime. And nearly half of survivors delay leaving because they can't bring their pets with them. Purina started the Purple Leash Project to help eliminate one of the many barriers domestic abuse survivors face. A lack of pet-friendly domestic violence shelters. Through the Purple Leash Project, Purina is helping to create more pet-friendly domestic violence shelters across the country. So abuse survivors and their pets can escape and heal together. Visit Purina.com purple to get involved. If you or a loved one are managing a challenging mental health condition, you may be running out of patience. I want to tell you about a better option. Hi, I'm Jenny Garth, host of the I Choose Me podcast. If you're frustrated with the pace of weekly therapy, consider spending some dedicated time working on you at Amend Treatment. Amend is a 30-day residential mental health treatment center thoughtfully designed to give you the space you need to break through. The unique locations surround you in natural beauty. Amend's dedicated team of doctors and therapists have deep clinical expertise. Your care is tailored specifically to your needs. Amend has two beautiful locations in Malibu, California. Find out more at amendtreatment.com slash start. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to The Fifth Thing. I'm Amy. And I'm Kat. And today's quote is unknown. I've got a serious one and then I've decided anytime we have a serious one, I'm also going to have kind of a funny one. So that way we're not all like serious. Okay. You made me nervous when you said serious, you got like a little like somber looking. Well, I just like it, especially as a mom, but then also we're all somebody's daughter (laughs) (laughs) or son. (laughs) So like it could relate to you if you think about your parents and how they handled things okay, or how you want to handle things. And also while it's talking about kids, when I read the quote, you could also keep in mind like your partner, your roommate, your coworker, fill in the blank, but it's never let your storm get your kids wet. Have we talked about this one before? (laughs) Why are you laughing? This is serious. Never let your storm get your kids wet. (laughs) I don't like it. Oh, I liked it. I'm, it could be like, you can be having the worst thing going on ever, but you don't need to like rain it down on your children get our kids wet but I mean I think that like my parents when I really thought about this reason why it probably was a little bit more serious to me is kind of wish they would just like have sprinkled a little bit on me you know like wanted them to get you a little wet they didn't need to get me totally wet (laughs) with what they had going on but they just like never talked about it it's like things were brushed under the rug or sort of ignored like I never saw my mom cry when my dad left I I thought he was going on a business trip like there was just no real conversations until like a year later. And he sat me down in my bedroom and said, do you know what an affair is? And I was like, I'm nine. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> 
<laughs> so I guess that he didn't brush under the rug, but I think like... Oh. Yeah. So they sprinkled you a little bit with that. Well, that's only because I saw a picture of his oh. then person in his wallet. And she right was next in to your lingerie. picture? Stop it. <laughs> yes. No, I swear. I swear. Were so you like, the, Dad, can I have $5? And then no. you saw that? Here's what happened. I had a softball tournament in Slidell, Louisiana. And for whatever reason, and I say that with love towards my dad because he was a good person. In certain areas. He really was. But he wasn't very involved in my life. So the fact that he drove me to Slidell, Louisiana for my softball tournament, like, I don't know. And your mom didn't go? No, my mom didn't go. But my dad, I don't remember him being at a lot because he was very busy and working all the time. And so he took me. And I remember he left his wallet in the truck and we were at the hotel and he's like, go down and grab my wallet. And I grabbed the wallet and it fell open. And it then, fell you know, open. <laughs> well, yeah, it fell. It, <laughs> it probably did. I wasn't going through my dad's wallet. I was not looking for this. But back in the day, this is the early 90s, late 80s, yeah. early it's 90s. Like the photo. There's the yeah, like little you put films, your yeah. school picture in there. Okay, it's like my sister's school picture, my school picture, a picture of her in her lingerie, <laughs> and I, or like ninety or something. <laughs> ninety. <laughs> what is that? Like a negligee, <laughs> like a little lace silk number. Oh my god, what did you do? Were you like, Dad, who's this? I didn't say anything, <gasps> but you I didn't think tell I, anybody you saw it. Not even your sister. No, I think he kind of maybe put it together or something because I was weird, weird and then. Maybe I asked some sort of question, but not about the picture, but maybe just about her because I knew who she was because she had babysat us at some point. You're like, why she is our babysitter in your wallet? Well, no, she worked for him. But oh. then one night she had taken care of us at some point, but I knew who she was. So I was acting weird. So I think he decided to take me to dinner and then without your sister. So he told y'all separately. I guess so. Would you have I, rather I, I, I need told? to ask her what what her experience was with that cuz I know it was just me in my room after dinner. I was sitting on my bed and I think he like sat on the floor. <laughs> and I was like, "Do you So I do you, saw you drop my wallet. Nope, no, I went through it." Yeah, maybe he did see that out the window, <laughs> but he didn't ever bring that up, but he did say, "Do you know what an affair is?" And you said And I was like an I affair. don't affair. I know what affair. I is. don't know if I did. Well, I don't you, know. I, I would have I, thought he was saying like the county fair. Do you know what a affair is? Yeah, like an affair, like a party, like a yeah, like with the, like what it is was affair an affair. That's a fair. A fair. I know, but if at nine I would have been like, yeah, the rides <laughs> oh, and the cotton candy we, yeah, and the are, fish. Oh, we're you, gonna go to the fair. <laughs> <laughs> are you going to a fair? <laughs> <laughs> well so anyways my mom was going through all that and i never saw her like once cry yeah. but gosh what were we talking about that you wish your parents got you a little wet maybe just like a little bit like let me see a little bit of emotion yeah. i just feel like there's a different metaphor we can use that's more like i don't know i know it doesn't feel palatable time appropriate with all the storm situations well, I happening thinking that. oh well it just popped into my head so i thought i should say it because i don't want to be insensitive but I think of days that I'm going through a lot and what I could bring down onto my kids. Mm -hmm. And I know there's times where I've had a lot going on and I've sort of exploded, but I have the awareness and I go to them and I acknowledge how I behaved or what I did and I ask for forgiveness. And then hopefully what I see in that is I'm like, well, good thing I did that because then I was able to model what it looks like to own what you've done <laughs> and they need that example. <laughs> so good thing I lost it. <laughs> I actually did them a favor. <laughs> I'm going to do that more often. <laughs> yeah. You see, you don't like that quote, huh? Well, I like the message behind the quote. That quote, I just like, never let your storm get your kids wet. Like, there's so many better ways we could write that. Do it now. I can't think on of any other. Write it. I can't do it. But if you give me a day, I'll come back. You know what? Next oh. week, I'll come back with like five different versions of that and we can vote on them. Okay. What if it's like, never let your kids mop up your mess <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't mean the same thing never let your kids flush your toilet <laughs> <laughs> what could it be i'm trying to think of something help me well we're... never let your kids pee in the shower <laughs> never let your urine <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> okay why are you going that direction well, because i started thinking about toilet i'm thinking like burnt toast like never let your kids get the toast out of the oven without a mitt on 
Okay. I don't know. That's where my mind's going. Like, we can find something better. <laughs> Pretty sure. Never let your storm get your kids wet. I'm not good on the spot. Okay, I'll give you the funny one now, even though okay. apparently that, that was, was funny. <laughs> so this is a meme that I saw. I love getting cute little good morning texts like, your order has shipped. <laughs> Oh, because you do like good morning texts. I love good morning texts. Yeah. Your from order is out anybody. for delivery is the best text. Yeah. I got one of those today. Or your order has arrived. That's a better text. Yeah. And then, but sometimes I go to my front no, porch I and I don't say, see it. It's not there. <laughs> but then I go around it. All my neighbor's porches. <laughs> I'm like, where is it? Do you get your mail delivered to the wrong house? No, but it has ended up on my neighbor's okay. porch before. That's why. So your house is pretty straightforward. Our mm-hmm. mail gets lost all the time. Yeah, your house is confusing. It's really frustrating. Yeah. I had to start delivering stuff to other people's houses and then they get tired of that. And I think I'll just have to move. I think you should move over here. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say Kat that. and I text each other all the time. Like the other day, Kat wasn't feeling well. And she's like, if you were my neighbor, you could bring me tea. Mm-hmm. And then a few hours later, I'd be like, if you were my neighbor, I'd bring you tea, but then we could watch something together. Yeah. And then after she was feeling better, I was like, if you were my neighbor, you could just come over and we could walk. Or like you could come over and I can tell you the story in person. Yeah. We could like cook dinner every night together. I want to live on one of those compounds with all your friends where everybody's sort of close but far. Have you heard about the people who, I don't know if I made this story up in my head, but I swear there was a story where like somebody bought a nursing home for all of their friends for when they got older. That's what I want. I guess it's sad because we're in a nursing home, but like an assisted living, maybe that's better. A retirement community, but it's all my friends. Retirement community is better. My dad lived at assisted living and it felt not great. nursing home vibes, but... Okay. I mean, they could live on their own, basically, but I would love to be in an assist. But I like the assisted living because, like, you get the assistance. You can, I think, in a retirement community, you can have the option for assistance, but you also have a bowling alley and a movie theater. What? And maybe pickleball and a golf course. Well, I don't know that I'll be playing pickleball when I need. Well, how old are you? Well, actually, retirement community. Do you move to a retirement community when you're like 65? You can. That seems. I still feel like I'm definitely going to be working at 65, yeah. though. I mean, because I feel like I'm not need to be. Yeah, that's right. I don't know, unless Hinge works out. And not that I would keep working, but it just definitely helps having a partner. A hundred percent. So she was like, I think I want to go to college in Japan. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> how's, how's your hostessing job going? <laughs> <laughs> she why she, japan she's never she even loves- been she's just obsessed with asian culture i was gonna say she likes the candy it started with anime and then just her fascination moved into yes the food she likes to go to the international market and she always ends up with japanese type goodies and she really just wants to go she Seems thinks that that's where she is supposed to be like she was born to be in, be japan. in japan that's so far away even though she's never been does she know how far the flight is yes isn't it like 23 hours? Very far. Plane tickets are very expensive. She's like, maybe I can get an internship somewhere. In Japan. Yeah, I'm like, you know, okay. I have a friend that does events in Japan. What kind? She works for a car company. She Oh, Nissan? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know why I was like trying to keep that a secret. <laughs> oh, well, my, my friend is a lawyer for Nissan and she just got back from Japan not too long ago. She actually brought Sashira a little gift because she knows Aww. about Sashira's obsession. It's so fun because she actually happens to be my sister's bff from high school and she lives around the corner from us now because nissan's got oh, yeah, yeah. offices here so she's still That's in my life funny. and so i've known her since i was probably whenever my dad sat me down in my room <laughs> asked if you wanted to go to the fair <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it's fun to now have her in my life and her yeah. son is about stashira's age so they have cool hung out i wish they would date but I think he has a girlfriend and then I'm like, well, well, maybe you don't want them to date because if it doesn't end up well, then be awkward. Yeah. I have a list of seven things to ask your kids before it's too late. If you're looking for a new job, have you thought about using a recruiter? Well, Express Employment Professionals has put more than 10 million people to work in the last 40 years. They help job seekers through their network of locally owned offices, meaning you connect with a recruiter in your community. To find the location near you, visit expresspros.com and reach out. Whether you're looking for contract work or a full-time role, let Express be your one connection to a new job. 
Express helps job seekers in a variety of industries, including sales, accounting, customer service, IT, and logistics. And with Express, you can talk to a recruiter about what type of job you're looking for and get advice on the local hiring market. It's a different approach with real communication that's not just online applications. Don't let summer pass by in a job that you hate. Choose Express. And there's no fee for Express to help you find your next job. Visit ExpressPros.com to find a location near you. Anywhere worth going is worth going in good boots. Find your perfect pair with Tacovas. Now, one of my favorite pair of boots that Tacovas has is the Annie boot. And you know one thing that's a must for me. If I'm wearing boots, they've got to be cute and they've got to be comfortable. And the Annie boot from Tacovas is just that. But they have a lot of different styles for women and men. They were born in Texas. 2015 is the year that Tacovas made their debut. And they've been helping people find their perfect pair of boots ever since. And they are handcrafted with over 200 meticulous steps. They are broken in comfort. So when they are delivered to you, they are already comfortable. You don't have to break them in. And you know, my niece was living with me this summer. She's 21. I'll say what I am. I'm 43. So it was really cool to have my 21-year-old niece coming into my closet and being like, hey, can I borrow your Tacova's boots tonight when I go out with my girlfriends? And I was like, of course. So something fun that I got to do when she was leaving after she lived with me for the summer, she went back to Colorado for for school. I gave her a pair of Tacova's boots when she left and she loved that gift. So maybe get them for yourself or for someone in your life. Right now you can get 10% off at tacovas.com slash Amy when you sign up for email and text. That's 10% off at tecovas.com slash Amy. tacovas.com slash Amy. See site for details. Tacovas. Point your toes west. Just a few years ago, only 3% of domestic violence shelters accepted pets, meaning many abuse survivors had to choose between staying in a difficult situation for their pet or leaving their pet behind. One in three women and one in four men experience domestic abuse in their lifetime, and nearly half of survivors delay leaving because they can't bring their pets with them. Purina believes in the healing power of pets, particularly for survivors of abuse. They believe pets and people are better together, which is one of the many reasons they started the Purple Leash Project. Through the Purple Leash Project, Purina is helping break down one of the many barriers abuse survivors face, the lack of pet-friendly domestic violence shelters. Purina has helped increase the amount of pet-friendly shelters across the country from 3% to nearly 20% through the Purple Leash Project. With more pet-friendly domestic violence shelters, survivors and their pets can escape and heal together. Visit Purina.com slash purple to get involved. Get ready to simplify your life with AT&T in-car Wi-Fi. Stay connected wherever you go and transform your vehicle into a dependable Wi-Fi hotspot. Powering applications like real-time GPS and voice assistant, navigation becomes a breeze. Plus, with Wi-Fi for up to 10 devices, you can keep everyone entertained while on the road. Work, stream shows, or finish homework without missing a beat. Discover the convenience for yourself and see if you're eligible for a free trial at att.com slash in-car Wi-Fi. Always pay careful attention to the road and don't drive distracted. Wi-Fi hotspot intended for passenger use only when the vehicle is in operation. Compatible device and vehicle required. If you or a loved one are managing a challenging mental health condition, you may be running out of patience. I want to tell you about a better option. Hi, I'm Jenny Garth, host of the I Choose Me podcast. If you're frustrated with the pace of weekly therapy, consider spending some dedicated time working on you at Amend Treatment. Amend is a 30-day residential mental health treatment center thoughtfully designed to give you the space you need to break through. The unique locations surround you in natural beauty. Amend's dedicated team of doctors and therapists have deep clinical expertise. Your care is tailored specifically to your needs. Amend has two beautiful locations in Malibu, California. Find out more at amendtreatment.com slash start. I have a list of seven things to ask your kids before it's too late. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) What do you mean too late? Before they move to Japan (laughs) (laughs) or something else. Okay. And I think that this is for kids But you could also use them in relationships. Like you could use them with Patrick. And I'll put them in the show notes so that way you can have them because I think they're good to have on hand, especially if you have car rides coming up. 
Like it's just extra stuff to have in your pocket besides how was school today? Okay. It doesn't really go anywhere. So Shira gives me the same answer every day. How was school today? Exhausting. Okay. So then I'm going to ask her something a little lighter. Like, like what's something you think about a lot? Death. I guess like what's your Roman empire? Is that yours? I think about death all the time. In what way? Like, I don't know. We're all going to die. How are we going to die? Is this going to make me die? I feel like that's pretty normal. You sound like that <laughs> guy from my hinge dating profile. That oh my God. He did one of those voice things and he said that when he's at a red light, he'll just start thinking about what if a zombie apocalypse happens right now? Like what would I've I I've never do? once thought about that. But you think about death. Yeah. But also I feel like I think about death more often because I'm now an adult and I have an adult, like I have older parents and that's why I start thinking about it. And I go down that rabbit trail and it's like a weird place to be in because I thought I was going to be like 25 forever and mm -hmm. things are changing. What makes you happiest? Are you asking me? Or this is the next okay. question. Seven things to ask your kids before it's too late or your friends or your partner or a random person <laughs> <laughs> walking down the street. So what do you think about a lot? <laughs> the next time you go on a plane to Japan. What makes you happiest? I know. I know. I can answer for you. Grab the gold. No, having something to look forward to on your calendar. Oh, that's my answer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that yeah. makes you very, very happy. Yeah. What's yours? Solitude. <laughs> <laughs> that's different than isolation. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like being with people, but I like my recovery time. Yeah. That's what makes you happiest. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that it's something you okay. like, but you okay, rather fine. you like your recovery time more than the actual no. things that you do. Okay, no, okay. I take it back. I guess maybe because I just had a happy moment of solitude this last weekend because okay. my house is finally coming together um, and yeah. I was alone. I feel like there's just been workers in my house for a while or there's always a lot going on. I love having my kids here. I love having my kids have friends over. I love having people over. Don't get me wrong. But I think now that I finally have a couch and a TV hung in my living room mm -hmm. and my house is starting to feel like a home because I moved a few months ago and it's been in disarray, I was laying there alone watching TV by myself and I was happy. Nice. So I don't know that that's my happiest like all the time, all around, but currently, maybe that's it. So you can't my wait home, till I leave? My No, <laughs> no. <laughs> but my home has really been empty yeah. if you think about it. So it feels good. How do you feel around me most of the time? <laughs> Why would you ask your kid that? Where's this list from? <laughs> At homeschool <laughs> underscore. So, sweetheart, how do you feel around me most of the time? I don't like that. You don't? How I do think you it's feel about to, me most of the time? No, how, how do, do you, you feel, feel around, around me? me most of the time? Because if like they're able to really check in and be like, I feel comfortable or I feel anxious or I feel... Yeah, I guess it depends on how and when you're asking that question. I feel Not light or do I feel stressed. I do think my kids at their age, 14 and 17, and where they are now in their maturity level, I feel like they could answer me directly. Like I feel stressed. Out. Yeah, I feel like you stress me out or I feel Calm. really good around you. But I do think they could pinpoint it and it, it may vary. So that could be a question you ask. But I mean, it's, I think as parents, it's good to know, or as friends, like, how do you feel around me most of the time? Is it like, am I an energy vampire or am I just giving you life? <laughs> You're sucking everything out of this room. Yeah. Or do you want to be around me more because I just recharge you? Well, I now want to leave because I know you want your solitude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not what I meant. I'm just kidding. What's the next one? What's your favorite memory with our family? That would obviously be a good one yeah. for the kids. Or you what's your favorite your memory family. for our friendship? One of my favorite memories from our friendship is when we went to New York and we went to your family's <gasps> Italian restaurant and we ordered all that yummy food and I wore pink pants. Yeah. Oh, you did wear pink pants. Yeah. <laughs> and and then, the food was so good and it just was fun being in New York with you. I like that one. Is there anything about the world or people that you want to understand? I like it's that a big one. question. It could be big, but still, it's okay to have big conversations at times, especially with your kids. What do you want to understand? Why grown men can't communicate. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say how ships float, but okay. <laughs> oh, 
know how airplanes get up. I mean, I know it's physics, but whenever I look Boats up and really... see airplanes flying, I'm like, what? The like, cruise ships freak me out. Like how? It, they're just, it's so heavy. But also the men in communication, that's a good one. But radio, I think of that when I'm at work all the time. Like, how is this working? How are people listening to us in their car? TV, how does it work? How, how does do it work? Figure it out. I know. I know. In, Have you watched Inventors, the... obviously, but... but... <laughs> how does it work? Inventors? <laughs> is that what you said? Yes. yes it... <laughs> It's all information that has piggybacked off of other information in trial and error and all these tests. And then Thomas uh, Edison's like, ah, oh, let there be light. Do you know who flew the first plane? Yeah, the Wright brothers. Okay. From Kitty Hawk. Yeah. yeah. North Carolina. Did you, did you just read a book about this? <laughs> no. I grew up going to the Outer Banks. And so we would go to where oh, yeah. they flew the first plane. I forgot. Yeah. You vacation there in the summers. <laughs> it was so luxurious. <laughs> I'll never forget that episode when you're like, we used to summer there. <laughs> we would first of all go for a week and we had to drive 14 hours in a car with four kids screaming. And I probably was like kicking my sister. We had like a TV strapped to the, did you ever do that on road trips? Your parents would like strap a no, small TV young. to like the, uh, <laughs> they would strap a TV to the like center console of the front and the VHS rewinder wouldn't work. So my mom had to rewind all of the, VHS tapes with her finger and then one time we stopped at a gas station my brother threw out my favorite movie so we didn't have to watch it again oh gosh Spice World oh mm -hmm. yeah I might throw that and that's a that's a classic and by too young I mean I'm older than you so I don't know that we would have thought of that option when I was that now people just have their own tablets you know where I used to summer Birmingham Alabama Orange Beach wait that's not Birmingham (laughs) that was it's Orange Beach Alabama (laughs) Birmingham's the city. <laughs> Alabama's the state. Wait, what did you do in Birmingham? Well, my grandma lived there, my aunt, my uncle, and my grandma was the manager of a bowling alley. So we'd go to the bowling alley a so lot. So you summered at the bowling alley. Mm-hmm. That's nice. Unlimited soda from the wow. soda fountain, grilled cheese, candy. That's pretty sweet. Grandma playing poker in the back, smoking cigs. Actually, not poker, um, bridge. Bri- I was going to say bridge. Yeah. Grandma's play bridge. Is there anything you are worried or stressed about? My daughter would be able to answer that pretty quickly. My son, not so much. He's like, He's like I the love dream life. Right now. Life is great. Yeah, homework stresses him out sometimes. But other than that, he's just Breezy. in a really good phase, which is answer to prayer, quite honestly. If you're looking for a new job, have you thought about using a recruiter? Well, Express Employment Professionals has put more than 10 million people to work in the last 40 years. They help job seekers through their network of locally owned offices, meaning you connect with a recruiter in your community. To find the location near you, visit expresspros.com and reach out. Whether you're looking for contract work or a full-time role, let Express be your one connection to a new job. Express helps job seekers in a variety of industries, including sales, accounting, customer service, IT, and logistics. And with Express, you can talk to a recruiter about what type of job you're looking for and get advice on the local hiring market. It's a different approach with real communication that's not just online applications. Don't let summer pass by in a job that you hate. Choose Express. And there's no fee for Express to help you find your next job. Visit ExpressPros.com to find a location near you. Just a few years ago, only 3% of domestic violence shelters accepted pets, meaning many abuse survivors had to choose between staying in a difficult situation for their pet or leaving their pet behind. One in three women and one in four men experience domestic abuse in their lifetime, and nearly half of survivors delay leaving because they can't bring their pets with them. Purina believes in the healing power of pets, particularly for survivors of abuse. They believe pets and people are better together, which is one of the many reasons they started the Purple Leash Project. Through the Purple Leash Project, Purina is helping break down one of the many barriers abuse survivors face, the lack of pet-friendly domestic violence shelters. Purina has helped increase the amount of pet-friendly shelters across the country from 3% to nearly 20% through the Purple Leash Project. With more pet-friendly domestic violence shelters, survivors and their pets can escape and heal together. Visit Purina.com slash purple to get involved. Get ready to simplify your life with AT&T in-car Wi-Fi. Stay connected wherever you go and transform your vehicle into a dependable Wi-Fi hotspot. 
powering applications like real-time GPS and voice assistant, navigation becomes a breeze. Plus, with Wi-Fi for up to 10 devices, you can keep everyone entertained while on the road. Work, stream shows, or finish homework without missing a beat. Discover the convenience for yourself and see if you're eligible for a free trial at att.com slash in-car Wi-Fi. Always pay careful attention to the road and don't drive distracted. Wi-Fi hotspot intended for passenger use only when the vehicle is in operation. Compatible device and vehicle required. If you or a loved one are managing a challenging mental health condition, you may be running out of patience. I want to tell you about a better option. Hi, I'm Jenny Garth, host of the I Choose Me podcast. If you're frustrated with the pace of weekly therapy, consider spending some dedicated time working on you at Amend Treatment. Amend is a 30-day residential mental health treatment center thoughtfully designed to give you the space you need to break through. The unique locations surround you in natural beauty. Amend's dedicated team of doctors and therapists have deep clinical expertise. Your care is tailored specifically to your needs. Amend has two beautiful locations in Malibu, California. Find out more at amendtreatment.com slash start. This is Tanya Rad from Scrubbing In with Becca Tilly and Tanya Rad. And what do you do when you need a complete closet overhaul? You start selling to keep buying. Yep, on eBay. Feeling bold and tired of all that beige? List it all. Then buy it all in full color. Craving that vintage vibe? It's out with the new and in with the pre-loved. Next thing you know, you've just refreshed your wardrobe without spending a dime. That's the thrill of eBay. You can come with what you've got and leave with what you really want. And once you start, you might just see your closet transform before your eyes. Filled with rare, interesting finds and even some authenticated designer pieces. Look at you with all the designer deals. So yeah, eBay. The place to buy and sell new, pre-loved, vintage and rare fashion. eBay. Things people love. Last and final question to ask your kid before it's too late. I don't like the before it's too late. Like what's going to happen? <laughs> Is there anything you want to learn together? That's a sweet question. Like, do you want to learn pottery together? Or do you want to learn about language. how boats float? Art. Some Watch kind of... a documentary. Speaking of, have you watched any good documentaries lately? So I watched The Monsters. I know that's a scripted, acted thing about the Menendez brothers. But then last Monday, the documentary part came out. Like the Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, should so, I watch that first and then watch the other one? I don't think it matters. Okay. Well, I watched two. I watched The Hope Solo, Untold, on Netflix. Oh, watch it. Loved oh, it. my gosh. And I have so many questions. And I want to hear from those other soccer players because I don't think we're getting the full picture. That was crazy. The fact that they didn't have health insurance on the women's national soccer team, I can't get over it. And then I watched Love on the Run. Okay, that keeps popping up on the Netflix, <laughs> you but have I to haven't watch watched that. it. So what? It's actually kind of tragic, but it is crazy. And I remember it happening, which is kind of interesting. So it's about the woman that worked at the jail that escaped with a prisoner? Yes. Okay. She was like the head person and fell in love with this guy. Well, she I'm wasn't not gonna, like the, the... She was like one of the head people. She wasn't the warden. <laughs> she might have been. No, she uh, was just a. She was a tip top person. Because people were talking about. <laughs> she, she sounds tip top. And she had a lot of say. Like she could just be like, "Hey, bring me that inmate to get a test. Put him in the car, and they left. And never came back." That's crazy. No, I haven't watched that one, but I will. So Shira has been very into true crime. She watches these people on YouTube that it's sort of like a podcast, but. They just film themselves talking into the camera about all these details from real life like crime ongoing? events, but then they'll show clips of like, from the news and you get different details. But it's it's sort of like a Cliff's Notes version. It's not long drawn out. She likes information so it's like a 10 minute. pretty quick. Like some of these podcasts, you could probably listen to an entire season on what happened to this yeah. true crime case. Like it'd probably be like nine episodes long where she'll watch some you know, 15 minute girl on YouTube breaking it all down. And I mean, she's kind of obsessed with that would give me nightmares. True crime. If I was that age watching a lot of that stuff, I'm glad that I was oblivious to a lot of things. I was always already afraid I was going to get kidnapped. And I just had the news. So I don't you don't want to check on her. (laughs) Ask her what she's afraid of. I mean, yeah. Also, that's a normal you're laughing, but that's a normal fear to be kidnapped. 
being like that's that does seem very scary (laughs) i don't think i'm gonna get kidnapped now i meant as a kid i was afraid i was gonna get kidnapped i know i feel bad that you felt that way like i never did not once no our house was always unlocked no yes i had to have my parents check and they had to like show me that the alarm was on that the doors were locked most of the time i slept with my sister and i think she really didn't like it and i slept with my glasses on (laughs) stop (laughs) okay i was really so that you were ready no because if i got kidnapped and i didn't have my glasses i wouldn't be able to to see i know i know i know (laughs) okay did you have glasses as a kid you don't know what it's like no i know i know i know (laughs) but if it was thunder and lightning i would take them off because i was afraid i was going to get electrocuted so i had to pick (laughs) i wanted to be able to see or i want to be electrocuted (laughs) i don't know that i had any fears as a child oh come on other than like heights (laughs) heights <laughs> were you even afraid of heights snakes spiders well maybe you shut yourself maybe off. my dad leaving okay <laughs> maybe you shut maybe your emotions down seeing his girlfriend with a nighty <laughs> <laughs> how did you have no fears you saw lingerie in your dad's wallet my therapist says she thinks that i had to figure a lot out on my own okay so i was very busy trying to figure things out well maybe there wasn't time for you to be afraid and also because you did so much stuff on your own you felt like you could conquer things it's an interesting place to be though because what i do believe to be the truth of my experience is i had good parents i did that both can be true yes both and but she says i get really fixated on the fact that they were really good parents and good people and that i don't allow the other part and i'm not even saying anything that they were doing the best that they could with what they had and i do think that they were an improvement from their Their parents parents. that's what you can hope right for all of us that each generation gets a little bit healthier but i think my brain spent a lot of time trying to figure stuff out and have you watched the glass castle for other memories (laughs) (laughs) the glass cat no or read Uh it okay it's a really good book and it was turned into a movie and i recently watched it for the second time woody harrelson's in it you know i'm on a woody harrelson kick (laughs) Yes. Um, I think you would resonate with this. I don't think your dad is like this dad, but most people would probably look at him and be like, that guy was not a great father, but she looks at him and she's like, my dad was a very troubled man, but also he created such a, I don't know how she would actually said this, but like a colorful life where we learned so many things and I wouldn't trade it for the world. And he was an alcoholic. They were homeless and like squatting a lot of the time. He caused a lot of trauma for her, but also the core of who he was was good and loving. And it's a really good picture of how both can be true and how complex that really is. Yeah. Oh, Oh, I cried. Like, you got to watch that movie. Or maybe I'll read the book. That Menendez Brothers thing. I'm just going to tell you a real thought that I had. Okay. Which I know my kids love me. This is not. And I'm not. Stashira walks in. I'm watching it. And she goes, oh, were you watching it about those guys that murdered their parents? And I'm like, Yeah. But like, don't get any ideas. That's where you ask them the question, how do you feel when you're around me? Right. And I kind of said that to her. I'm like, oh, I'm going to turn this off. Like, no, I don't want you watching this. Like, not. She's like, well, I've heard about it. I know what happens. And I said, okay. (laughs) (laughs) Ideas. And she said, well, you don't abuse me. And if you know some of the story, but then we don't, I don't know how true I don't know what I She's like, mom, don't worry. I have no plan. Right. (laughs) Like you take care of me for a ride, which I know the dynamics of that whole family and relationship. I've certainly never experienced anything like it. If all of what they say is true, which is debatable, allegedly what they say happened. But I don't know much about that. I had. It's just, well, when you watch it, you'll know. And I'm like, I hope nobody. Do people watch these things and get ideas? ideas? I mean, there's copycat. (sighs) Yeah crimes that's when it's like maybe tv should have never been invented well i guess if the radio was invented we could hear stories that way too all right hope y'all are having the day that you need to have cat where can people find you on instagram at cat van buren and at you need therapy podcast and i'm at radio amy and until next time (laughs) don't let your storm get your kids wet or just let it sprinkle them don't let your ice melt (laughs) On your, don't let your condensation get on your kid's nightstand. Don't let your sweat drip on you. <laughs> <laughs>
don't, go back to your urine ones. Don't, don't feed your kids your burnt toast. Is that it? <laughs> that's good. Is that it? Did yes. we finally get it? I think that's good. Don't, don't feed your kids your, your burnt toast. Burnt, don't feed your kids your burnt French fries. meat. Don't give your kid the car, car after you ran over ass. a nail. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay bye. One in three women and one in four men experience domestic abuse in their lifetime. And nearly half of survivors delay leaving because they can't bring their pets with them. Purina started the Purple Leash Project to help eliminate one of the many barriers domestic abuse survivors face. A lack of pet-friendly domestic violence shelters. Through the Purple Leash Project, Purina is helping to create more pet-friendly domestic violence shelters across the country so abuse survivors and their pets can escape and heal together. Visit Purina.com purple to get involved. We know you're uncertain about psychics. Is this fortune teller you found on a forum legit? Your one true love is... Me! That's why California psychics reject 98% of the psychics who apply to work with us. We guarantee, if your rating isn't life-changing, it's free. New customers receive 20 minutes for just $20. So experience the joy of certainty at CaliforniaPsychics.com. The iHeartRadio Music Festival was a blast, and Hyundai's EV lineup was there for every moment. In Vegas, Hyundai took VIPs to the Speedway to test drive the 601-horsepower Ionic 5N. On Friday, the EV Sessions winner was announced, Hyundai's music contest on TikTok. The twist? Their performances were all powered by the all-electric Hyundai Ioniq 5. How cool is that? And after the show, fans got to check out the Hyundai dance floor at House of Music. Thanks again to Hyundai's amazing EV lineup. Learn more at HyundaiUSA.com or call 562-314-4603. CBS This Friday, TV's hottest show is back. Fire Country returns with a new season where Max Terriot stars as Bodie Donovan, now stepping into a whole new world outside of prison. The challenges are more dangerous, and the stakes have never been higher. Battling fierce fires and his own personal demons, Bodie's still fighting his journey towards redemption. Get ready for explosive action, shocking twists, and intense small-town drama. Don't miss an all-new Fire Country, CBS This Friday, and streaming on Paramount+, Plus. part of CBS premiere week reservation for two booked on resi right this way with amex gold your got you a baby so good you can enjoy over 400 back in dining value annually and the sukiyaki for the lady ah, my new favorite including up to 100 back on eligible resi purchases so every dish is a winner one feijoada <gasps> Okay, now this is the one. That's the powerful backing of American Express. Enrollment required. Terms apply. Learn more at americanexpress.com slash with Amex.